Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul video, uh, which is something I haven't done in a while, so this is quite exciting. I will warn you, it's not like the biggest haul you've ever seen, it's quite small. But there's a few things that I really wanted, is my window open? Okay, let me close my window. There's a few things that I thought that I really wanted to talk about that didn't kind of warrant their own videos. So I thought I would include them in a haul of some of the stuff that I bought when I was in town the other day. You know, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And let's just show you the stuff. First place I went into was Primark. The first things I picked up was something that I actually picked up a few weeks ago, but I thought that I would still include them in this video. And they are these cigarette style trousers or pants or whatever you want to call them. And they've kind of got this whole like checkered print on them. Um, they're black and white. Um, I believe there was a navy pair as well. So that there's that option and they look just like this. Got the zip detail in, you've got your little strip down the side of the leg. Um, and I just picked these up because I was on the hunt for cigarette trousers. But I didn't know if they would suit me. So I bought, obviously, the cheaper alternative. I'm afraid because I have taken the tags off because I did buy these a few weeks ago. Um, I can't remember how much they are, but I, I, they were like around the £10 mark. Yeah, I really like the pattern on the, of these and I was thinking these are going to look really good. Uh, with just like a white shirt or even a black shirt or like something I'm wearing today, just like a plain jumper to dress it down a little bit. I know that cigarette pants are meant to have that kind of more looser feeling. Uh, but I find that these fit like around the bum area and then become a little bit looser down the leg, which is what I like. I know that some cigarette pants can be a lot uh, looser than that. And yeah, I really, really like them. The reason that I actually went into Primark was to pick up a pair of tights. I only came to uni with one pair, apparently. So obviously I just went ahead and picked up another pair. I picked up these AT Dernier ones. I don't really care what thickness they are, but I just kind of picked these ones up because they were the first one I saw. These and these are three pound ninety. Forget why they're three pound ninety. Why not just make them three fifty or four pound? I don't know. I realised when I was looking in my wardrobe the other day that like 90% of my clothes are jumpers. So I decided that I need to pick up some more just like t-shirts or tops that are jumpers. I spotted this one in Primark. There was actually a whole range of these in different colours, in different styles that I really wanted. But apparently uh, they didn't have my size and this was the only one that they had my sizing, which is like crazy. But there we go. So this is the one that I picked up. And it's just this uh, grey, long sleeve, kind of rib style top. Obviously it's meant to be tight fitting. And it's got this kind of, it's kind of got like a high neck. Not like a turtle neck, not too high. Yeah, I just thought this would be, you know, just really bog standard to have in your wardrobe. So I really like these. They're just really plain and simple to have. So I kind of went for this light grey one which uh, is nice, I like it. And these were four pound. If you ask me, you could not go into Primark without looking in their pajama section. To me, that is probably my favorite section of Primark because it's just so exciting. Um, <laughs> you can literally spend a few hours in there. You know, Primark have a lot of Disney stuff. They have a lot of Harry Potter stuff at the moment, which is really, really cool. And they have like the odd other bits as well. But as you guys know, I'm a massive Disney fan. I love Disney. So I always tend to walk out with some Disney pyjamas. Bambi is probably one of my favourite Disney movies and it's actually, it's not so much now because recently Primark have been by, uh, bringing out a lot more like Bambi related stuff. And Bambi never really had a lot of merchandise, it was always Thumper. So I, when I saw this I was like I have to have it because I literally love Bambi and I now have a really big collection of Bambi pyjamas. They are these ones. How cute are they? I'm in love with them. Another reason I got these as well is because I live in a student house and it's so it gets really really cold in here and it's gonna get even colder. So this is what the top looks like. It's this baby pink colour and it's obviously got Bambi's head on it there with like a few acorns and a leaf and it just says Bambi and the top print up here is exactly the same as the pyjama bottoms which I will show you. But yeah this is really really soft. This is really thick. Um, it's just it's just really lovely and I, I'm kind of in love with it. I just wanna I just wanna wear these all the time. But yeah, I was thinking cold winter nights in bed, you know, you've got the fairy lights on, you've got some hot chocolate, you know, you're watching a Christmassy film, of course. These are gonna be perfect, they're gonna keep you warm, they're just so comfy and they're just so cute. The pajama bottoms are the same material, obviously, again, just so soft and cozy. And what I actually like about these is they've got like the Oh, what's the word? They've got the tightened off edge. That's not the phrase or word I'm looking for, but I really like this because I hate it when you're in the night and pyjamas start to, you know, go up your leg and you're getting all caught up and then there's a bit of leg exposed and then you're cold and then, oh, it, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love with these. These are going to keep me so warm and happy. These were £11. 
The next place I went into was Superdrug. I literally only went in here for shampoo and conditioner. Obviously walked out with more than that. The shampoo and conditioner that I actually got are the, they're still wet, I've literally just come out of the shower about two hours ago so they're still really wet. Um, and they are the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Lower Sulfate 7 Day Smooth System Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't tend to buy the same again and again and again. Um, I just because I don't like my hair to get too used to shampoo and conditioner. So when I run out of shampoo and conditioner, I do like to go ahead and try some new ones. So these are the ones I picked up. These were actually on special, so I thought I'd give them a go. But these are designed for use with straighteners, and I do use heat on my hair quite a lot, which isn't great, but I do use it. So yeah, I picked these up. They smell amazing for a start. They smell so good. My hair smells really, really nice, um, if I do say so myself. I really love the packaging as well. It's sleek. It kind of feels like salmon packaging, which I really, really like. I'm going to put them down because they're really wet. So that's what I picked up. I also picked up an Essie Nail Varnish, which is certainly not what I needed. I actually have a little bit of an obsession with Essie Nail Varnishes at the moment. A few weeks ago, I picked up Cocktail Bling and... Oh no, I can't remember. It was like a red one. Um, and then I went in there and looked at the Essie stand again and picked up something new. The colour that I picked up is actually Blanc. Um, it's not the most interesting colour, I do apologise, but it's just a white shade. White's a little bit hit and miss. Some white nail polishes do give off that Tipex effect, which is really annoying. And some kind of look quite nice. And I do think it depends on the polish. So I kind of trust Essie as a brand. I've never had a problem with any of their nail polishes. I really like them. I really like the formula. They don't chip for me, so I thought I'd go for Essie. The next thing I picked up is something that um, I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. I'm a little bit in love with it. I'm a little bit obsessed. This is the first time I've worn it, and I'm like, yes. I saw this on someone's blog, and I was like, oh my god, I need this. I already have two of these, and I, oh, I love them so much. I think I've talked about them before, but I have a nude colour and a red, and the red colour is my go-to. If you're wondering what I'm wearing in all my Disney vlogs when I have red lipstick, it is the Maybelline uh, one of these, and it's the red one. These are amazing. You apply these, they last all day, and I, I mean, they don't budge at all. You can drink and eat. So for me, these are always, if I need a lipstick to kind of pack a punch and have really intense colour, but not fade, these is what I go for. So they're perfect for nights out and they're perfect for days where you just wanna wear like a bold lip color and get on with your day and not worry about it. They've got so, like such intense pigmentation as I'm sure you can see. Like this color is it straight from the bullet. I haven't built it up, I haven't layered it. This is literally it in one kind of swipey swipe. Uh, so this one is perfect. I really, really love it. The color is beautiful and it's absolutely perfect for winter. So you can't really go wrong with these. And I think these are so cheap as well. I think they're like three pound. Oh, I love it. The last thing I want to show about is what I'm really excited to show you. This is the reason that I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to film a haul today. I really want to show them this. And I'm sure that you might have seen it out and about, but I am going to talk about it. And it is the incredible Tanya Bell Cosmetics Deck the Halls 12 Days of Christmas Beauty Calendar. I'm so excited for this. Basically, beauty calendars have been a thing for, I think, quite a few years now. They're definitely becoming more common. Like, this year especially, a lot more brands have done it. I saw this one online, I saw quite a few beauty blogs talking about it, and I was like, oh my god, I really, really want it. This was when I bought it, £15 down from 25 It was out of stock online. In my store, which is a Brighton one, there were so many left, uh, so it might be worth having a look. But yeah, in this one you get 12 days of little Tanya Bar products, so I believe there is two nail polishes, two lashes, two eye shimmer pots, and three midi lip glosses, two nail files, and one mirror. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. I genuinely like the Bar Cosmetics line. I already have a few of the lip glosses, I'm going to put it down, really heavy, um, and nail polishes. So to me, I know that I'm probably going to like a lot of the products in this, which is what I was after. I'm really, really excited for this. I love, let's be honest, the beauty advent calendar is amazing. So yeah, this is like your purse-friendly option if you don't have the money to be spending them on the higher end of beauty ranges. And I really wanted to show you guys that, um, just in case you hadn't seen it yet, though I'm sure you have. But yeah, that's, I, yeah, I'm a little bit in love with that. I need December to hurry up. Um, so, well, not even just December, I need like, <laughs> late into December to hurry up so that I can open that 12 days before Christmas. Yeah, that was my haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.